What is happening and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're doing something completely different. Um, I've done loads of car stuff in the past and I want to try and expand my horizon into what we do on YouTube. Like I don't want to not post videos for months and then be like another car video. I want to try and do fill it with all sorts of stuff. So today this can appeal to quite a lot of people. If you haven't got one of these, you definitely must look into them. Uh, the ring doorbell. Um, I've had my last one, which was amazing. And I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll invest and buy the new one and see if the new one's any good. So without further ado, like, share, subscribe. And uh, hopefully this video is going to be a banger and hopefully it can help you out more than anything. And if you don't get to see what you want to see in this video, please comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. If you've got any questions about stuff, if you want to see some tech or you want to see some car things, please let me know. And uh, yeah, let's go on with the video. Let's go. Well then guys, let's open today's package and see what we are filming. So we have the ring doorbell four, and I've ordered a battery, but on the side of it, it says ring doorbell two. So we'll see if it's gonna fit in there. So let's get on with the video. Right then, so let's have a look. So. It's a bit different from the old packages that I'm used to. So it looks like there's a little pull tab on here. Or if we have everything going like greener, zero emissions and that, they're trying to make the packages as like lightweight and that as possible. So that's that. And I think literally, Whoa. we'll get to that in a minute. Slide this bad boy out. So yeah, that is the ring doorbell four. Doesn't look any different from the current one I've got. So yeah, we'll see. Right then, so let's put that to one side and let's see what's in the box. This is definitely the packaging and everything's so much different to the first one they had. So we have got USB lead to charge it. And we're, st we're still not USB-C. I have very little of these ones, so I would have thought they would have gone USB-C with everything going USB-C, but oh well. Then you've got your trusty screwdriver to take the battery out, so obviously you unclip it from there. Hopefully this one is battery charged, because you can go wired or battery, I think. So yeah, that one. Yeah, obviously you screw. Then this one. This one's your base plate. So yeah, that's that's sound. Then you get your screws to screw to the wall. Some paperwork that no one cares about. It's not a Pokemon trading game. Bloody hell, how many do we need? And that is it. That is it. Now in setup mode. Yeah, we don't need that just yet. Right, so put the battery out. So obviously battery is rechargeable, so if you're like me, get two of them and then when one dies you can replace it. So then you've always got the ring doorbell on. So yep. Yeah. One, two. Just check this one out, see if this definitely is the same. Because obviously here it says ring doorbell. Ring doorbell two. Exactly the same. And it comes with a lead, so we've got two leads. Happy days. Right guys, so if you're a bit confused, this is my ring doorbell one. So the, the idea was to see if it's actually worth getting the ring doorbell for. So um, I'm gonna swap this over to put the new number four on, and then I'll come back to you in the next couple of weeks and see if it's worth getting the newer one, paying the extra hundred pounds to get the new one and actually see what the difference is more than anything. So yeah, I'm gonna take this off the wall um, and then I'll get back to you when that's off. So let's go. So the difference straight off the bat with this one is it's 
it's got two screws to take like safety screws but then the only difference is the whole thing comes off um, and it hasn't got a battery in it so like you have to charge the whole thing so obviously if this is on charge and something happens or someone comes to your house you ain't going to see nothing because this bad boy's on charge whereas the new one you've got battery so i've just come out put a new battery in put it back up well it's always going to stay hooked on so yeah let's uh let's get the new one on so i don't know how well you can see let's bring the camera around so you can see so look on this one it's like a base plate that screwed to the actual like upvc with the wall whatever so obviously your ring doorbell will you hook it in on the top bit there and then push down and then obviously your locking screws go into there and there whereas on this one there is no like backing plate well you do get a backing plate if you want it if you want it on an angle or something that does that is supplied with it but it looks like you just literally screw straight in through the holes there so you've got you've got one there one there one there one there so you're not going to need this backing plate so i'm gonna have to take that off and then make new holes from the looks of it so uh, yeah let's uh let's whip that off so hopefully now that pops off like that but the only problem is you've got screw all so i hope that the new doorbell covers this um so yeah as this is pretty much redundant now so we don't need that so yeah the holes don't line up but it doesn't matter because i can whack new screws in so i'm just gonna get like a pen and i'm gonna try and like start a little hole and then uh yeah man sand that is so you don't get a base plate so you literally just screw this straight in so yeah i can't wait to get it on and see if it's actually any different so literally easy as that i've just put one screw in down there put another screw in down there i'm going to put the other two fixings just up there and then that's it normally you wall plugs drilling um so obviously because mine's like plastic upvc it's uh straight in Easy as that, no, that's only two screws in and it is solid. Right then, so we're all screwed up. This is on. The only, the only way someone would get this off, if they wanted to rob it, probably get a crowbar underneath it or something, but it is stuck on there. So now we're going to insert the battery. Like so, slides in. Lovely stuff. Right then guys, so literally all you have to do is open up your camera on the Ring app. So obviously you download it on the App Store or the Android Store. You literally go in, set up Ring Doorbell. So you choose Ring Doorbell, so we've got the Ring Doorbell 4. So you click on that and then it will say, give you a little barcode. So literally all you got to do, scan your barcode, which is there. It will like automatically connect. If this bad boy's spinning, say it's spinning on the phone and then literally connect to your Wi-Fi. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on so it like the phone connects to this and then this connects to the Wi-Fi and then literally it's updating now. It says it take up to 15 minutes to update and then hopefully we should have some uh, ring doorbell action. And uh, yeah, I think that's it really. Oh, yes. Nothing like a little unpeeling. Yes. Right guys, so we are on. Easy as that. There you go quite loud as well i feel like it's a lot louder so they must have upgraded the speakers or something um so yeah sweet right then so we're on the ring doorbell we're gonna go on it now oh, there's me so we can it's i've got the motion settings track so it's all on my drive um as you can see cheeky bum crack but yeah the quality the quality does seem a lot better though you know the quality and the sound i must say so yeah you can go and go back and then you've got like motion settings so i can go back motion settings um custom mode uh, motion snooze see motion settings so i've edited my motion zones so all my driveways come up but this is definitely recommended i had two people come at the middle of the night they come from up there come there tried my car walked up to here by the time it got it got up to there it saw their head started recording and then they come onto the drive to try and take the cars so this is definitely working if it's a could be a hundred quid could be 200 quid 
but it will stop your car from getting stolen. Well, it won't stop your car from getting stolen, but at least if anything does happen, you will see it and you will be notified. So definitely worth a look. Right, guys. So that is the end of the video. The ring doorbell was installed. It's pretty, pretty simple to install. Literally, there's a barcode on the side of it. Scan the barcode with your phone in the ring doorbell doorbell app and then literally go through the settings, connect to the Wi-Fi and then it has to talk to the phone, to the ring doorbell, to the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi to the ring doorbell. Sometimes it can be a bit funny so maybe take the battery out of the ring doorbell or turn off the Wi-Fi and turn it back on because sometimes it's just, you know, electronics, sometimes they're just like, nah, don't want to work. So we've had, I had that on the last one where it was a bit of a bugger but it will go up normally nine times out of ten first try. Um, so yeah, let me know what your thoughts on the video. If there's any comments about the ring doorbell that I can answer, please let me know. I'm going to give it a couple of weeks just to get used to it, see if it's actually any different, see if I've paid £100 for nothing. Um, but yeah, you can get the ring doorbell one for like 80 quid. This ring doorbell four was um, 177 and I bought an extra battery as well, which is like 20 quid. So the one thing I'm more happy about is the fact that I can just literally open the front plate, pop the battery out and then just stick it another one in whereas on the old one when the battery was dead I had to take the whole thing off so whether it could take a couple of hours to charge that's a couple of hours without protection without footage on the front if that made sense but yeah even if you're not bothered about security element if the postman comes knocks on the door you're like yo uh, drop it here or whatever so you can talk to the postman rather than getting it sent back to raw mail and having to wait 10 days for it to come back so uh yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Let me know what you think. Peace.